Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the world's first 4K AMOLED portable monitor. Now, before we get started, I do want to mention that I've had this in my possession for about the last three weeks. And if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know that I've tested out a lot of these portable monitors. And I can say without a doubt that this is the best looking portable monitor that I've ever gotten my hands on. And it's actually the best looking display that I have in my house right now. Out of all of my monitors and televisions, this thing is absolutely beautiful. But it doesn't come in cheap and you really can't compare this to the $150 to $300 range of portable monitors that you'll find on eBay and Amazon. Because this is actually going up against the big boys like the ASUS ProArt PQ22UC which actually comes in at around $3,999. I've scoured the web and I actually found one for around $3,200. It was a return product, but still, that's a $3,000 to $4,000 portable monitor. Given it is made for professionals and it is a bit bigger at 21.6 inches versus the Extend Touch at 15.6, the color gamut on the ASUS is 99% DCI P3. On the Extend Touch, it's 100%. We have 330 nits of brightness on the ASUS product, 650 on the Extend Touch, and the ASUS Pro Art actually doesn't even support touch. And on the Extend Touch Pro, we have 10 points of touch, plus you can use a 4096 stylus on this. It's got dual stereo speakers built in and pass through PD quick charging. And this is all coming up in their crowdfunding project for the Extend Touch Pro at $699. It's definitely not for everybody, but if you've been looking for a 4K color accurate monitor, this is definitely one to have a look at. This thing is absolutely beautiful. And by no means am I a professional video creator or anything like that. I can hardly draw a smiley face, but I've been doing a lot of testing with this monitor and I can honestly say that this is one of the best looking displays that I've ever gotten my hands on. And right now it is the best display that I have in my house out of any of my monitors or televisions. So inside of the box, you're obviously going to get the Pepper Jobs Extend Touch Pro. We also get all of the cables we need to get this connected. Here's an overview of everything that came with my pre-production unit. We have an HDMI cable with a micro HDMI adapter, USB Type-C. We have a big old power supply that will allow us to charge everything we need and power the monitor at the same time. That 4096 stylus and a foldable stand. Okay, so over on the right hand side, we have a micro HDMI input. We also have two USB type C ports. The upper port is used to power the monitor. The lower port is for our USB type C video in. Over on the right hand side, we have a little menu control rocker, but the menu can be controlled through touch. I'll show you that when we get into it. We also have an OTG USB type C port and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now I want to get into a little bit of testing because I really want you to see how good this monitor looks. As you can see, I'm using the included foldable stand. And before we get started here, I do want to mention that even though I'm filming this with a pretty decent camera, 4K, 60 FPS, it's still not going to do this monitor justice. You really need to see one of these with your naked eye to get the best experience out of it. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. Now, this little mini PC that I'm using here will do 4K. This is known as the Odyssey X86, sold by Seed Studio. It's actually a single board computer slammed inside of this aluminum case here. It's running Windows 10. And it actually does 4K video playback quite well. So that's one of the big reasons I wanted to use this. I kind of wanted to keep it super small here on the desk with this 15.6 inch display. Okay, so here we are. I've got everything hooked up and I'm actually just using a single USB type C cable connected to that mini PC. Touch is working in Windows 10, as you can see. We're going to go ahead and access the menu. There's tons of settings in here. First up, color effects. We have standard, sRGB, Adobe RGB, Rec 2020, DCI-P3, and a custom user profile. Next, under color settings, we have brightness, contrast, saturation, HLE, color temp, and gamma. Moving down to image, we have sharpness, ratio, rotation, HDR, I just leave this on, PIP, and we can reset all of those from here. And finally, system. We have input, anti-burn-in, which I definitely leave on, OSD timeout, and at the bottom here we have info. This is by Pepper Jobs. It's the XT1610UO. And from the rocker, we can also adjust the volume. So there's tons of settings in here to get this looking really good to your eye. And I know everybody's a little different, but personally, I've left it on standard and I think it looks great. So on this little mini PC, I am set to 4K resolution, but I do have 250% resolution scaling set up because if I go back down to 100, I can't see anything. I mean, everything is super tiny. 
it's really clear when you get up on it, but if you're sitting a little ways away from it, it's really hard to see. So I stick with 250. So as we saw, Touch is working with Windows 10 right out of the box. Now, if you just have HDMI plugged in, it's not going to work out. You do have to plug in a USB cable. But since I'm connected over USB Type-C for video out, it's also transferring data, and we can use Touch that way. So now it's time to get into a little bit of 4K video playback. We're going to head over to YouTube here. 4K, 60 FPS. And like I mentioned, filming this monitor with a camera isn't going to do it justice. The best way to see how good this looks is with the naked eye but I still think this came out absolutely amazing. And since it's AMOLED, we have those super, super deep blacks. I mean, the color representation here is absolutely amazing. It just really pops. And by the way, this monitor actually has a one millisecond response rate, so gaming on this is gonna be awesome. So I will come back to Windows and we'll test out some 4K gaming, but I wanted to move over to Android. So if you have a device like a Samsung device that supports DeX or even just supports HDMI out to mirror your screen, this monitor will work with it. This is a Galaxy S10 and I'm just going to show mirroring here. But as you can see, with a single cable plugged in from the monitor to the USB Type-C port on your phone, it will work. And we have those 10 points of touch. You can use the monitor as a touch screen. And obviously we need to rotate the screen on the phone to get it to display full screen. But as you can see, it is working with Android. Now, one of my favorite things about the flagship Samsung devices is Samsung DeX. And if you're not familiar with that, we're going to take a look at it real quick. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my Galaxy Tab S6 because I have all of my apps installed and it does support DeX. Just a single USB cable. You can either mirror the screen from the tablet or we can run Samsung DeX on one screen and Android on the other. And it does support touch in Samsung DeX, but basically DeX turns Android into a desktop operating system, and it's really nice to use with a keyboard and a mouse. And since this monitor has an OTG port on it, and we're plugged into the tablet over USB Type-C, all I need to do is plug in this little adapter here with a mouse and keyboard, got a wireless mouse and keyboard dongle, and now we have keyboard and mouse support inside of DeX. And as you can see, we still have Android running on the tablet. You can do tasks over there. And we can move over to the big screen here and play some games or get some work done or vice versa. It's really up to you. But for this video, we're just going to launch a game. I'll go with Asphalt 9. Make sure I can resize this. We'll go full screen with it. And I'm going to connect my Xbox controller. So I've got my controller connected to the tablet over Bluetooth, and as you can see, we're playing Asphalt 9 on the big screen, and we still have Android running on the other screen. So if we did want to watch a video on the tablet side, we could definitely do that. Now, not talking about DeX, but Android mirroring, as long as your phone supports mirroring over HDMI or USB Type-C, this monitor will work with it. And finally, at least for this video, we have some 4K gaming. So this is running from my main gaming PC. We're at 4K Ultra Settings, Forza Horizon 4, and it looks stunning. I mean, I just don't own another display that looks this good. I know it's a smaller display coming in at 15.6 inches, but to tell you the truth, I'd rather play on this than move over to my 4K LG TV or even a 4K BenQ 32-inch monitor. And I have to reiterate it again, but filming this screen just doesn't do it justice.
So yeah, I mean, if you're in the market for a 4K AMOLED portable display, this is definitely where it's at. I would recommend checking this out. I'm going to leave a link to the website in the description. And like I mentioned, they're doing a crowdfunding campaign just to see who's interested in something like this. But you can pick it up with the early bird special of $699. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. I really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in learning more about this, I'll leave links to the Pepper Jobs website in the description. If there's anything else you want to see running on this monitor or anything else being done with this monitor, just let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.